at most. I'm like, but he should beat him. Like he should, like you know, he should he should hold the title. Jay could get the championship, but <clears throat> hey, bump it. I, it, it well, they they said give Jay the championship now. He's hot. We, hey. we, we can't, they can't. That is one thing I will say. They can't keep not having something. You can't keep not doing something with him. And and that's what I said a month ago. I'm like, bro. For the last year, what since he's been on Raw, what the last year, year and a half, he's consistently been in the main event. It's like no matter where you put him on the show, start the show, middle of the show, end of the show, without a title outside of the tag team chips, he's always been your main focus and one of your main guys. Seth Rollins, he's out right now. You know, you, Roman, he's basically been inactive since really WrestleMania. When you think about it, he did a little something at SummerSlam. He did a little something, you know, a little promo talk on SmackDown, but he ain't really been there. You ain't got Charlotte right now. You ain't got Becky, but Jay's been your constant. And the thing is, like I said, bro, you can't keep having them lose. But again, I will say much like you, I'm very, very uh shocked to say the least. But now I'm curious on how this t- ties into the bloodline. Now I'm curious, yeah. how does this, because you know, they're going to make their way eventually with that. And then you got the whole Naomi and well, nah, because Naomi is Jimmy. So we ain't we ain't, we ain't worried about that yet. But yeah, I'm I'm curious on what Roman and the bloodline, uh the OG bloodline got we're gonna do about that as we move forward heading into you know survivor yeah. series. First, we gotta get through bad blood first. Um I, I, do NXT do they got a pay-per-view coming up? No, um, and they got like Halloween Havoc or something like that. Okay, so a TV special. Yeah, yeah, they got that coming up. TV says okay. uh, we talked about this. You said it would make more sense over Sammy. Um <clears throat> Yeah, because I thought I got I figured Sammy would hold the title for a while. But he wanted he actually dropped it when I felt he should have dropped it, which was at SummerSlam, and Brian won it. But Brian ain't again, I, I, I just still feel like Brian just they he just won the title, man. But again, like you say, this could be a back and forth. And this could be a nice little back and forth rivalry between the Steiner brothers and the Uso family. And yeah. you, you know, and, and and if that's what if that's where they're going with this, then I'm fine with it. Uh, because you can make a nice little back and forth rivalry out of it. Like if you're looking for that, what's that thing we can do? Like we we're, we're doing it with SmackDown with Carmelo and Andrade, but yeah. how can we kind of do it a little differently and mm-hmm. push it a little differently and maybe not go as long, but we're gonna make it a little short, you know, and I think that this would be perfect. So you you can do that if that's what they do. I think that that'll that'll be okay, cause then uh, Braun can get it back, and then you can have a a a, a finale match by the time you get towards uh, Survivor Series, really, and you can do you can have them do a banger. I mean, hey. let Jay let Jay and Braun have a banger on the pay per view. And let's not forget too. There's so many other elements weaved into this, like Sammy and Jay. They, they you know, they cool. They got their history. Uh, and then so you could tie in Braun Breaker versus Sammy. Like, I feel like right now is a perfect time to where you could just have Braun on the rampage. Braun ain't taking this loss lightly. Oh, he's not taking this loss lightly. No, not he, at all. Not at all. He is about to tear through everybody. And right now, that's what you do. You let Jay hold it for about a month or so, and you just let Braun wreak havoc. 